Hello everyone and hello all the learners watching this channel and subscribe to this channel and on this vlog we are going to talk about how to write feasibility study part 1. to start your own business or you want to implement a new project to improve your business there are a few professional strategies you can use to ensure success one of which includes conducting feasibility study by reviewing the necessary components and preparation required to write a feasibility study you can create one that contributes to a successful business venture in this vlog we will define feasibility studies review why they are important outline some key components included in a feasibility study and provide you with the steps you need to learn how to write your own feasibility study. Let's first answer the question, what is feasibility study? A feasibility study is a report that aims to determine the practicality, strength and weaknesses of a proposed project, its existing system or corporation as a whole. Further, feasibility study also help professionals do the following. First, plan a course of events to complete the project. Second, identify the challenges that could arise. Third, list potential solutions that could come about as a result of the project. Two distinct components summarize all of these factors. Those are desired values to achieve and the cost required to carry out the venture. Second question we need to answer is why is a feasibility study important? Feasibility studies are important because they encourage professionals to consider all of the factors that go into a project or business startup. These include areas such as background, project summary, description of operation, market research, and legal and financial documents. Furthermore, a well-written feasibility study can help project leaders gain the approval they need to complete the project. By analyzing each of these areas and preparing a plan of action, professionals can have the best chance of creating a successful project that benefits the corporation or the broader society. Now let's proceed to the key components of the feasibility study. A feasibility study gathers essential company information and encourages investors, company officials, or other company employees to support a project. And here are some key components of a feasibility study to consider, including in your own. Title page. The title page is the first part of the feasibility study that your reader sees. You should use a clear title that provides some insights into your project. A good example is feasibility study for cultivating unified goals across departments. Your title page should also include the names of the project leader and project members along with their job titles. You might consider including the date the project is set to start and estimated date for completion to provide more context about your time frame to the readers. Table of contents. The table of content aims to provide the reader with easy access to any section within the report. Complete your table of contents after you finish the report to make sure that the page numbers coincides with the section titles. Usually, your word processor has a table of contents feature that makes creating this component quick and efficient. Executive Summary. The Executive Summary should be the first major component of your feasibility study. In this section, you should include an introduction to the project, its purpose, desired solution, and an overview of the sources you use to support the legitimacy of the report. Market Feasibility. The Market Feasibility portion of your report provides the reader with insightful information about company statistics, market research, and the future outlook for the company. Start by summarizing your company's 
industry, discuss its history, current practices and trends along with the future projections for the industry as a whole. Then you can start narrowing your focus to discuss how your company fits within the industry. List your top competitors, your primary sources of revenue, sales figures, and potential niche areas you could pursue to expand your customer's base. And then the market visibility section helps your reader gain more of an understanding of your company, what it has to offer, and how your visibility project could benefit its growth. Technical Feasibility. The Technical Feasibility section outlines several operational factors that influence the success of your business. Discuss your company's location, materials needed to create the products or service you offer, the manufacturing processes, quality assurance facilities, and necessary transportation to ship your products to the retail location. Technical Feasibility section provides your reader with a detailed understanding of which factors maintain your business so you can continue delivering top-tier products and service to your customers. Additionally, this section helps support the credibility of your Financial Feasibility section. Having mentioned, let's proceed to financial feasibility. The financial feasibility section outlines all aspects of your company's finances to the reader. In this section, you should include information about your investors, current revenue, assets, and liabilities, as well as total annual revenue from the previous year. You should also include a cost-benefit evaluation that helps support your business needs. The financial feasibility section aims to convince the reader to either invest their support, fund, or both into the proposed uh, project by showing them the cost needed to maintain business operation. Organizational Feasibility The Organizational Feasibility section demonstrates your company's legal and ethical practices to the reader. This section should include an outline of the general structure of your company, such as branch location or departments. You might want to include a small bio for each of your founders or board members. You can also be benefit from highlighting the human resource procedures that your company uses to maintain ethical and legal responsibility towards your employees, as well as motivational methods you use to install or instill productivity in the workplace. The organizational feasibility section helps the reader determine whether your company's current practices complement or support the proposed project. Conclusion. The conclusion is the last written section of your report before your appendix and reference pages. This section summarizes each of the previous section. You should end the conclusion by highlighting one or more recommendations to motivate further action on the topic. You can make this recommendation into a separate section if they require more than a few sentences of explanation. Appendix and References Pages An appendix is an optional section. It is usually beneficial for the reader of the report. This section includes any information that the reader might find useful but which is not directly relevant to other topics discussed in your report. Regardless of whether or not you choose to include an appendix section, you should include references. A reference section can have one or more pages depending on the number of sources you used to create your report. You can use company's document, scholarly articles related to your industry, or any additional documents you wrote during the project's completion. Be sure to use citation to adhere to the style guide you are using for your feasibility. I hope you learned something on this uh, vlog and the next vlog we are going to continue on how to write feasibility study part 2.